Hello everyone, Fanta here. You were watching Fantavision. And uh, I know I discussed this a little bit in my last video. And the Red Dead Online review is coming. But I gotta discuss how YouTube is completely fucking me over again. As well as tons of other YouTubers. Because I had heard about this before. I had heard about copyright strikes. And how they've affected people. But I didn't completely understand until it happened to me. When they said it was bullshit that any company could just go out and strike them for something that is completely fair use. I mean, I had dealt with that kind of thing before with Nintendo. But with Nintendo, you knew you just weren't going to win. I mean, it's... They did it to everybody. It was just a thing. But this is... This is a different instance. And Nintendo has since, I believe, stopped doing that. This is a completely different instance because this is a company that is trying to claim that my entire video is copyright infringement because I am showing parts of a viral video. They're trying to say because I use that viral video in my video as a reaction, even though it's a reaction video slash criticism slash news reporting video, which makes it all fall under fair use, they're claiming my entire video anyway. All because I showed 30 to 40 seconds of their one minute long viral video that they supposedly bought from the original guy, which is also really interesting. So I guess Viral Snare purchased this viral video from whoever shot it, put it up on their channel, and then as part of the Create Music group, multi-channel network and now create music group has put a copyright claim on that video now it's not copyright strike but it is a claim so originally they were taking all of the monetization from the video and just siphoning it into their bank account and the fact that youtube has nothing to do with any of this there's no oversight there's no arbitration at all it just baffles my mind. And what I mean by that is not only is there no YouTube interaction when it comes to claiming a video, but when it is claimed and you dispute it, when you send that dispute back, it's not going to YouTube. They explicitly say, we don't handle this. This dispute is going back to the company that claimed your video. So that means they get to determine whether or not they keep their claim on your video. That doesn't make any fucking sense. At all. That's like a person saying, or it's, it's just somebody accusing you of something, but they're also the judge at the same time. What if that's how real life worked? It would be fucking chaos. People would be in jail for literally nothing. People would be sued for nothing. There'd be fires and riots, and it would be insane. And you might be saying, oh, Fanta, you're just exaggerating. Think of a world where just an accusation was all that was needed. The world would be a nightmare. That's what YouTube is. YouTube is a nightmare. That's why people talk so much shit about it. That's why YouTubers never stop bitching about it. As much as you guys just get fucking sick and tired of hearing about it we're sick and tired of dealing with it and the thing is is no matter how much we bring up the problem youtube does nothing about it and i don't think they ever will so we're basically just kind of waiting it out until hopefully a competitor comes along and makes a better platform but until then we're all stuck here on this boat on this island, rather, where the laws are just made up by companies. It's literally an oligarchy. All of these big companies control everything. And if they decide that they want your video, they can just take it. And guess what? Of course they, they didn't keep my dispute. I was hoping maybe I could, you know, talk some sense into them. I, I typed it out. You know, eloquently, this is fair use. This is a reaction slash news reporting slash criticism video. All of that makes it fall under fair use. I am allowed to do this. 
Now, some people might say, well, the fair use laws are kind of muddled. Even if you think I'm wrong and my video should be claimed, don't you think there should be some sort of process? Don't you think YouTube or some sort of law firm that YouTube works with should be part of this? Because this is fair use law. These are laws. People are losing money because of this. I mean, just the other day, CinemaSins had their video taken down by, I don't remember what movie network or, you know, studio it was that took down their video, but they got it back up because they're a big channel. They have a lot of pull. I'm a tiny little channel here. I got, I've got no say. I don't have any friends in YouTube. I can't just call someone up and go, well, you know, this company's really fucking me over. And it's not, I mean, it's not a huge video, but the fact that they're, they're blocking me at all, it's just a detriment to my channel. Can you, can you fix this? I can't do that. I cannot do that. I'm just stuck, just shouting at my computer, shouting at my camera, going, what the fuck? What is wrong with Create Music Group? And the thing is, I don't want to... I don't want to, you know, say they've done anything sketchy. I'm not saying that in this video. Don't sue me. I'm not, you know, stating anything as fact about the company. I'm not saying anything that they've done. But I think I theorize I maybe this is happening. But this is supposedly a startup company, Create Music Group, who has found millions of dollars of unclaimed revenue. And the thing is, is they also have been known for doing that on YouTube. So I feel like this company might maybe, might not be, don't sue me, making all of their money by fucking over people like me. They're, they're bending fair use laws to their will by just completely breaking them because YouTube doesn't care. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. I don't have the financial means to hire a lawyer to fight this. I just can't. And I, it's just unfair. I mean, people have been sued in the past over making reaction videos to things that it was a copyrighted work. And they were saying that they stole their content and they were sued. And the court ruled in the favor of the people that were using the copyrighted work because it was a, you know, it, it was a changed piece. It was made into a different, you know, type of content. It was a reaction type video. It was a parody. It was a funny, it was a, it was a completely new video. It wasn't just a copy paste of that video onto that channel. It was a new piece of content. And they ruled in favor of that because it's just, it's blatant fair use. So the fact that in the past people have lost lawsuits like this against channels that are using clips or entire videos as a reactionary piece makes me wonder how the fuck this is still happening. If a channel has already suffered through this legal bullshit, shouldn't it be set as a precedent that in the future this can't happen? I, I don't understand it. I, I think... YouTube needs to be more hands-on. Stop being like Valve. I'm sick and tired of these fucking companies not taking any responsibility for their platform. It just reflects so badly on them. Google has so much money. How can you not invest a little bit into the most popular video platform? I understand supposedly YouTube doesn't make a whole lot of money, but I don't care. Your reputation as a company is going down with the way you treat your users on this platform. You own the platform. You have to take care of it. That's how that works. It's just bullshit. It's such bullshit. This affects people's livelihood. And I'm not even talking about me. Like this, like I said, this video, it's not like some huge viral smash hit video. I'm not making millions of dollars off of it or thousands or whatever. It was this little tiny bit that I lost, and it's not that big of a deal that it's that little bit. But it is a big deal, in my opinion, in principle. That's why I'm so pissed. It has nothing to do with the money. It's the fact that at one point, they were siphoning money 
from something I created and they're just claiming it as theirs. That's bullshit. Ah. Uh, I wish I wish I was rich. I wish I could you know get a fight like a, a law team together and fight these assholes and make it a precedent and really stick it to them and finally pull YouTube into it and maybe finally get like a sit down with them, but I'm not. I don't have that kind of influence. I don't have that kind of money. It's just I'm, I'm just another YouTuber with this happening to me. I'm just another small YouTuber who's getting dicked around by a bigger company. And I, I decided to make this video because I feel like whenever an injustice or something like this happens, even if you're not a huge channel, even if you don't feel like you have a whole lot of influence, even if you don't think a whole lot of people will see that video or people are sick and tired of hearing about that topic, if you stop talking about it, you just lose. That's just how it is. I mean, that's what happened during the whole EA loot box thing. People kept getting sick and tired about hearing about the fucking loot boxes. I mean, I was tired of hearing about it, but you know what? I kept watching the videos about it and I kept making videos about it because you don't stop until the problem is fixed. And there's so many people out there that get so apathetic. They get like violently and angrily apathetic at people that are just constantly fighting the same problem. They're like, shut up already, we get it. It's like, no, I don't care if you get it. You are not the person who needs to get it. The company that we're bitching about and we're pointing out the problems with is the one that needs to get it. And the more people that get it out there and get angry about it, that's the only way change is created. If everyone's just gonna be angrily apathetic, nothing's gonna change and everything's just gonna keep getting worse. All those morons out there that are like, oh, well, now that net neutrality's gone, I guess, uh, I guess we're not really drinking out of toilets now, are we? No, fuckface, we're not. Not yet, because it's not like all of a sudden something's gone and now, oh, well, that's just gonna immediately happen. No, I don't know if you've noticed, but in the gaming industry, it gets slowly worse they slowly start making it more and more greedy. That's how everything starts. It just starts out slow. And people slowly get used to it. They slowly think it's okay until it gets worse and worse and worse. And that's why on this channel, most of the videos are me yelling about one thing or another because I'm gonna continue doing it. I'm, I want other people to continue doing it because that's the only way positive change can happen in this world. If nobody's talking about it, nothing's going to happen. Simple as that. So fuck you, Create Music Group, you fucking assholes. It's fair use. And fuck YouTube for this, this ridiculous way of handling something that's very important to a lot of people. I mean, when I see this kind of stuff, and I, it actually affected everything. It was the weirdest thing. Like, once that video got hit with that claim, um, the CPM, which is how much you get paid per thousand views, dropped for, like, everything. It affects everything. I mean, it's slowly recovering, but the fact it affected, like, a couple days worth of stuff just because of this claim. I can't imagine being one of those channels that constantly gets hit. I mean, my videos can't usually get claimed because I don't really use any other footage in it. I don't really use anything that can get claimed. It's usually just pictures or just us talking. So it's, a, it's safer than a lot of other videos out there. A lot of like movie review channels probably get hit all the time. So I... I feel bad for them, and I, I hope people keep making noise about this, and maybe one day it'll be enough to change it, but I don't know. YouTube's so just stubborn and stuck in the whole, I don't want to do anything about it. I mean, think about all the different problems that people are having with just the platform. Nothing to do with laws. I mean, I have people constantly DMing me or commenting, hey, I, I was, 
I've been gone for a little bit because YouTube unsubscribed me from you. I was realizing like, where's this content? I just, I had to type in your channel to find you again. Uh, what is, how, how, how is it even happening? That doesn't even make any sense to me. And then the bell isn't even working. Some people aren't even getting notified about things. Sometimes likes don't work. Sometimes companies are doing shady stuff with the likes. Like when the Diablo mobile trailer came out, there's just so many things on YouTube and it just seems to keep getting worse. Ever since the adpocalypse, where I literally watched YouTube videos about people, they were like crying in their video because their livelihood was at stake. All of a sudden, Let's Plays were under the microscope and they were between the crosshairs of YouTube and advertisers and they're getting claimed left and right by different companies and they're being demonetized and all these different things and it's... Ah... Uh, it must be so stressful for people that have this as a full-time job. I was hoping that one day, maybe, it could be. It'd be a lot of fun, you know? I mean, I'd, I'd start several channels, do a bunch of different things. And I still hope to keep growing this channel and and maybe make a secondary channel. Because some people want vlogs. If, if I get big enough and people give enough of a shit about my life, I'll do vlog stuff. But, man, it's just, it's so scary the fate of this site is just constantly I don't know it's just constantly like this mysterious thing anyway enough of that even though everything seems to go to shit all the time on YouTube it's still a great platform for people to create careers even though it is like I said it's still scary um, they can grow a following and they can connect to people. And that's a lot of the fun I've had with YouTube is connecting with new people. I mean, in Discord, it's so much fun talking to you guys on streams. Oh my God, playing with you guys and talking to you guys is a lot of fun. And I mean, it's it's been a very positive and a little bit of a negative thing in my life. And I'm really thankful for all of you guys and... I know I just keep ranting about YouTube and its problems. I guess it's been a while, but I really am thankful for the opportunities that it's brought me, or rather the opportunity that it's brought me to talk to you guys. So anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you guys liked the video. Comment down below. If you think I'm wrong, that's fine. If you think I'm wrong about whether or not that video is fair use, but I mean, I would argue that no reaction video is fair use if mine wasn't, you know? I mean, I don't make very many, if any, I think this is like my first, maybe second reaction video ever, just because it had to do with GameStop. And I know a lot of people were, people kept messaging me and commenting like, hey, I want to know what you feel about, you know, think about this. And uh, join the Discord. Discord's a lot of fun. The more people that join, the more conversation there is. And of course, me Twitch streaming, Tonight, going to be Twitch streaming some Red Dead Online. I'm going to be recording some more footage for that because I do want to do a review on that, hopefully by Friday. Hopefully this weekend, because Friday we'll be streaming, of course, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So I'll be a little bit busy that day. So hopefully Saturday or Sunday, I'll have my Red Dead Online video up. I was hoping to get it up today, but just everything kind of fell out of whack trying to get back into it this weekend we're recording the podcast so it's it's been busy <laughs> it's been really busy so thanks for sticking with me guys and as always have a fantastic day see you guys